Hi everyone, it's Yanis here. We all have goals that we want to achieve. Buy a house, a car, have a family, and be in great physical shape. Achieving the goals take time. Some smaller goals might be achieved in few weeks or even days, while others might take years or even decades. So if you want to earn a certain salary, let's say $75,000 a year, and you're currently on $45,000 a year, then you have two options. One, you can let life move on in its own pace, and after five years, you'll maybe achieve your goal. Two, you can 10x your efforts and achieve your goal in the next six months. Today, we'll take a look at the book called The 10x Rule by Grant Cardone. I have summarized top five things that you can take away from this book, so let's dive in. Number one, People fail because they underestimate the effort required to succeed. This is really simple and in the meantime, really accurate statement. If you want to achieve any goal and you put enough work behind it, then you will achieve it no matter what it is, whether it's fitness, wealth or relationships. I think it all starts already at the planning stage of any goal that people try to achieve. In your thoughts, everything plans out perfectly because it is ideal case scenario. I will call 100 clients, 20 of them will agree to meet with me and 5 of them will buy my product. That is how it might work in your mind, but in reality it is different. You will call 100 clients, you'll probably get to talk to 50 of them. You'll arrange 5 meetings of which 2 will get cancelled, 2 clients will not be interested in your product and 1 will make the purchase. That is how it will work in the real life. What most of the people do at this point where they wanted to get 5 sales in a week but they only got 1. Most of the people will quit. But what you have to do in this case scenario is you have to increase the activity to achieve your goals. Don't lower the target. Don't change your goal to 1 sale per week. You have to increase your activity or how Grant would say you have to 10x your efforts and achieve your goals. So if you want to make 5 sales per week, then you have to work the numbers backwards. You already know what the formula is. So in order to get one sale, you had to arrange 5 meetings. So to get 5 sales, you'll need to arrange 25 meetings from which 10 will be cancelled anyway. To arrange 25 meetings, you know that 100 phone calls will not be enough. So instead of 100 calls, you have to make 500 calls. So there you go, now you just have to execute with 10x actions and you will achieve your goals week after week. 10x mindset will guarantee you success in any conditions. This mindset rely on your attitude and the actions that you take. And that is what eventually puts you in control of your life. You're no more dependent on external factors like economy, competition and other people. And don't just 10x your actions and efforts, 10x your goals as well. Ask yourself, how can you make 50 sales per week instead of 5? This will make you think outside of the box because reasonable thinking can't help you to achieve 10x goals. Number 2. Even doing nothing takes energy. This is a great point that Grant is making as many people try to save energy thinking that they'll be more energized later. I can't remember that I ever in my life sat down and watched TV for 4 hours and it would have given me any energy. I don't think that you can remember it either. If anything, I was feeling even more tired when I was doing nothing than I would have if I had gone for a longer walk or cleaned house for 4 hours. The illusion that doing nothing will help you is false. I recently did a video about energy management and it also confirmed this statement that doing nothing takes energy. You're constantly thinking and focusing on certain things, even if it's thinking about how you're doing nothing. Here is a grand point. If you are using energy while doing nothing, why not get off your ass and put all that energy into the things that you want to achieve? You can read books, study online courses and listen to the podcasts. Don't waste your precious energy, but put it towards your goals and your dreams. Number 3. Average is failing formula. Average is the most dangerous situation that the person can be in. When people have average situations, have normal jobs and take usual actions, it is harder to make any change in the life. They don't want to change things because everything is moving forward, not quickly, but surely. 
Life is comfortable and people are getting used to it. That is the problem. I would rather be broke than feeling comfortable. At least, while you're broke, you have some motivation to go up and not to stay where you are. What do you think happens when you combine the following? Average actors, average director, average budget and average actions. Do you think that this combination will make a next Hollywood hit movie? Of course no. If you're taking average actions, you will never create extraordinary life. Average actions lead to average lives. Number 4. Don't get lost in details. You want to create your dream mobile app. You feel that you have a great idea and you will be helping a lot of people. And you can also make good money with providing a great service. Then you start planning it out and realize that programming is quite expensive and you don't have any experience with managing a team. You have never developed app before. So you speak with your friend and he asks you questions about how you're going to handle QA testing and localization. Should you develop Android app or iPhone app or maybe both? And eventually you get lost in so much details that you don't know what to do. Don't let this happen to you as this will terminate all your actions thinking that it is impossible. It is possible if you don't overthink but instead take actions and execute. Don't forget that you don't just take any kind of actions but 10x actions that will achieve your 10 year goal in one year. Number 5. Don't prematurely value your actions. This has happened to me multiple times and I believe that you have experienced it as well. It's like when I started posting videos on YouTube. I was excited and ready but excitement didn't last it for long. After I posted 25 videos, I stopped because I was prematurely valuing my actions. Videos didn't get many views first, but then, six months later, I saw a huge spike in stats and some of the videos got tens of thousands of views. I see this happening a lot with the new creators that want to build audiences on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. They go all in for three months and then they throw in the towel. You have to be consistent with your 10x actions and the results will come. So stay in there and don't prematurely value your actions. If you want to manage your time better, have more structure in your life and achieve your goals, make sure you check out my time planning application. You can set goals and track progress towards them, create time blocks and build your own daily structure, as well as log your time and measure your performance. Best of all, it's totally free. So press here to check it out right now. I'm working on new videos every day. So be sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.